Hey everyone, Amar here. In this video, we'll be talking about entering the void on the spiritual journey. Okay, so like I've said in the thumbnail, I feel like this is the point of no return. Okay, so it can be a bit scary. What I wanna do in the video is help you understand if you're ready to enter the void. Okay, what, what will it look like when you are ready for this next step? Secondly, I'll be talking about what the void is and to end, we'll look at how to get into this void, right? So for the most part, this void is positive, but very, very scary. Now, are you ready to enter the void? So I feel like you're ready to enter the void when you realize that the world can't make you happy. When you realize that your ego is limited, that it's keeping you limited, right? You may have tried to find happiness and all the things that were told by society and culture that will make us happy. You may have tried that path, you may have exhausted that path, but you still haven't found what you were looking for. Maybe you're still expecting something in the future to make you happy. Maybe it's that relationship or that money or whatever, okay? Or maybe you just have never really had much success or happiness and you feel like the future will bring that to you. Now, it takes a lot of courage to really sit down and contemplate this and come to the realization that maybe the world can't make you happy. Maybe it cannot fulfill you. That all of these things it shows you and sells to you, these ideas aren't really gonna do the job. And like I said, it takes a lot of courage to come to that realization. So if you have come to this realization and you are honest, I'm courageous enough to accept that as your truth. Like, I don't want you to just believe me. Each person has to have the realization of this. It's the only way, okay? Listening to other people but not really believing it, it's not gonna work. When you really truly feel it and know it, that the world ain't gonna make you happy, it ain't gonna fulfill you, then you're ready to step into the void. I'm not saying there's anything wrong in the world and all the things in the world and we can still enjoy them, but it's seeking fulfillment, some kind of happiness or whatever it is in them things. That's where the model is flawed. Okay, so if you do feel you're ready to step into the void, let me share with you what that looks like. So, like I said, the void is a scary, scary place. It means a letting go of your ego. It means letting go of all the labels Everything you identify yourself with could be your gender, your race, your culture, your religion, your job, all the roles you play, um, even your dreams and goals, your suffering, your pain, your anxiety, your depression, your trauma, all of that stuff, all the stories have got to go. All the stories are ego. You cannot step into the void with any form of identification. You literally have to become nothing. Like Joe Dispenza says in his deep meditations is that you have to become no one, nowhere, in no time, in no place. In order to do that, you have to let go of everything you're attached to, everything you're identified with. And that's why I say it's scary. We don't realize how we are holding on to so much of this stuff. And we hold on to a lot of this stuff just out of fear. Okay, we're afraid. This is why we cling to the ego. And so when it comes to letting that stuff go, naturally we're gonna feel the fear that was underneath these attachments. So we cling to this stuff because we're afraid. Deepest fear, we're afraid we're not good enough. We feel like we need all these things to make us good enough. But when you really truly come to the realization that this stuff can't make you happy, you are naturally gonna have an increase in self-esteem because you've taken some of your power back. But that ain't the full journey. The second part of it is you have to relinquish the whole ego and literally become nothing. <laughs> you see, it is scary. But this is the path that we're walking. Because the traditional ways we've been taught to seek happiness haven't worked and that's why the world is just in chaos and all models are just collapsing, right? Because it doesn't work. The sooner we can get onto this new path, the sooner maybe we can potentially find some fulfillment and happiness. The way I like to look at it is like, imagine there's a corridor with, I don't know, 10 doors. 
and we've exhausted all the doors. We've looked behind every door, explored the room, and we can't find what we're looking for. But there's one door left at the end, and that door is the void. That door is where you let go of everything. And most people are afraid to step through that door because it goes against everything we've been conditioned to believe. And that is a very, very scary thing to experience, right? So how do we go into the door? How do we let go of all this stuff? Well, I have an analogy really that will help you kind of understand this. So imagine that you have been living your life on this island. On this island, life is safe, pretty mundane, just, just blah, just life, right? Nothing special. Now you get into spirituality, you start watching Eckhart Tolle and reading spiritual books and you get a calling, you hear this calling that there's something more, there's something more to this life, right, than just chasing external things. So you leave the centre of the island, right? Now imagine on the side around the island there's a river, like a strong, powerful river. So you make it to the river with all your baggage, you've still got all the baggage with you, your identity, your ego. Now as you approach the river bank, the only way you can jump into this river of the unknown is by let, letting go of everything you're attached to, is letting go of all of that baggage. Because if you jump in with the baggage, you're going to drown. So all that baggage, all that egoic identification needs to be let go of. And you need to just jump into the unknown, and just surrender, full surrender, and allow God, the universe, consciousness, whatever it is, whatever you want to call it, let it take you wherever it takes you. And it is probably going to take you somewhere better than you've been. It is probably going to be an adventure. It's going to be full of excitement. But the point is you do not know. And because we do not know, it's scary. It triggers our fear. It's that fear that keeps clinging on. It's that fear we have to let go of. A natural default of willing to jump into the river of nothingness, of becoming nothing, is the letting go of the ego. So that's kind of how I see it. That's kind of what I feel like is the next evolution in human, on the human level. And I just hope people have the courage to realize that what they're looking for, they're never gonna find in these external things. Takes a tremendous amount of courage. I'm not even going to kind of underplay that. But if you do feel like you're ready and you are kind of exhausted with the world and all these things, take the leap. And the world and all these things will become even better, right? But you won't seek yourself in them. There'll be a detachment from them. They'll have no power over you. And that is a very, very powerful way to live. When you are in control, as opposed to being a victim of everything and circumstances that happen and that can only happen when you discover your true infinite nature right so this is something I'm really really passionate about something I'm really really getting more and more into the upcoming videos on this channel will be going much more deeper on how to really let go of that ego and how to flow with life how to flow through this unlimitedness that we all are at our core and I really want to help you discover that for yourself so stay tuned for all of that but for this video, that is everything I have to talk about. If you did enjoy the video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. But until next time, remember to keep living free and being free. Peace.